Hi everyone, I am Mrs. Hannah Angelin. In this video, we will be discussing about what is a statically indeterminate structure, how it can be determined for various types of structures. So let us see if there are more than three unknowns. So let us see if there is a beam of this sort. For a pin end, you know there are two restraints. For a roller end, one restraint. For the other roller end, another restraint. So totally capital R for this problem is 4. We have equilibrium equations that is small r as 3. So now check r minus r that is 4 minus 3 is 1. So you have capital R value that is the number of restraints in the given structure is 1 excess to the equilibrium equations available. So these equilibrium equations are not sufficient to analyze the given structure or to find the unknowns in the given structure. So it is indeterminate to degree 1. So the structure is said to be a statically indeterminate structure. Note the term statically indeterminate structure. So here again let me draw another beam. So let me take a propped cantilever. Let me take it as a roller or hinge. One reaction is here and one fixed end. So I can show there are three equations unknowns at the fixed end. Totally my capital R value is 4. I have equilibrium equations 3. Again R minus R is 1. So I can tell this propped cantilever beam is statically indeterminate to degree 1. So all these are one dimensional structure. So one dimensional structure are open structures. It doesn't have any closed configuration. All these are just open. If the unknowns in the given structure cannot be determined with the equilibrium equations alone. It needs some extra equations to find the unknown. In that case, we tell the structure as a statically indeterminate structure. Let me draw another example. So some framework. Let me have two rollers here. A framework, two rollers. So roller has vertical reaction alone. So here, capital R for this structure is 2. Small r available is 3. Okay. So when I'm going to find the indeterminacy, r minus r, 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So now check, for a structure to be stable, we should have at least 3 equilibrium equations. See now here, capital R is less than small r. Now I can tell, the structure is unstable or it is deficit. If the unknowns are less than the number of equilibrium equations, then the structure is said to be an unstable structure or a deficit structure. Okay, so we have seen the classification. We have seen what is a determinate structure. Determinate structure is a stable structure. We have seen what is the definition for deficit structure, unstable structure, when capital R is less than small r. Redundant structures, when capital R is greater than small r. So I can form a statement like this. If capital R is equal to small r, then it is a statically determinate structure. Okay. If capital R is less than small r, then it is an unstable structure or a deficit structure. If capital R is greater than small r, it is a statically indeterminate structure. Okay, so this is for one dimensional open structures. So we consider the number of unknowns at the support. We consider the number of equilibrium equations. We know small r is 3 for a one-dimensional open structure. Okay. Or a two-dimensional structure. So I can check whether it is unstable or statically determinate structure or statically indeterminate structure. We shall see for a pin-jointed two-dimensional structure how to calculate 
a static indeterminacy. Let us consider a simple triangle, a simple framework with both the ends pinned. So we know at this end I am having, we are having two unknowns. At this roller end one unknown. So totally my capital R value is 3. I have three unknowns. I have equilibrium equations 3. I have sigma h equal to 0, sigma v equal to 0, sigma m equal to 0. So with the help of these three equilibrium equations, I can find the number of unknowns 3 here, r minus r is 0. So I can tell the structure is statically determinate, externally, since it is 0 I tell, it is statically determinate externally. Since internally it has more than one member, if, it, if I'm going to have just one member like this, I tell it is open structure as we have learnt already. Now I have a structure which is closed. So I have a two dimensional structure here. I need to check whether in the two dimensional structure if there is any closed ends, it forms a framework. If it is such, then I need to find whether internally also it is statically determinate. Now to find internally, I should know what is the number of members. So M denote number of members. Okay. J denotes number of joints. Then I have equilibrium equation as 3. So here, let me number the members 1, 2 and 3. So my M value is 3. For J, let me number the nodes 1, 2 and 3. So I can tell J value is 3. If M is equal to 2J minus R, then it is said to be a statically determinate structure internally. If M is less than 2J minus R, is a relation, then I can tell it is unstable structure or deficit structure. The members are less than the equilibrium equations. If M is greater than 2J minus R, then I can tell it is a statically indeterminate structure. Let me calculate whether the structure is a statically determinate or indeterminate internally. So here M is 3, okay, 2 into J. So J is 3, so I have 6, R is 3 again, so my value is 3. So M is equal to 3. So M is 3, again 2J minus R is also 3 or 3 is equal to 3. So I can tell it is statically determinate internally. Let me write here, statically determinate internally. Understood? Let me consider with both the ends pinned. Okay. So these two reactions are possible at these two ends. Number of joints here are 3. Number of members here are 3. So now check capital R is 4. Small r is 3. M is equal to 3 members. J equal to 3. And R is again 3. Now let me check whether it is statically determinate or indeterminate internally and externally. So for external calculation I write here. For internal calculation I write here. My equation goes like this. Let me check what is the value of R minus R. If it is 0, then it is statically determinate. Again, I need to check whether M is equal to 2J minus R. If M and 2J minus R are equal, then it is statically determinate. Now check here, R minus R. So I write here 4 minus 3, I have a value of 1. Now check for internal calculation. So M is 3, let me check whether it is equal to 2J minus R. So 2 into J is 3, minus 3 again. So I have 3 is equal to 3. So my value of members is equal to the expression of 2J minus R. Or I can write M minus 2J plus R is equal to 0. This is the relation to find whether it is statically 
internally determinate or not. So externally it is indeterminate to degree 1, internally it is determinate. So I can write a statement, this structure is statically indeterminate to degree 1 externally. I hope you can understand now. For any closed structure, you should find what is the external indeterminacy. You should find what is the internal indeterminacy and check whether both are stable or both are internally and externally it is determinate or it is indeterminate to any one or it is unstable. So in some cases, you may also be given a problem like this. So roller at both the ends. Roller at both the ends. Okay. So in this case, capital R minus small r. So capital R, I have two reactions here. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. If we are going to get an answer in negative values, the structure is unstable. No need to go beyond that. It is externally unstable. It cannot stand. It has to be refabricated. So directly I can tell it is an unstable structure. Understood? So all these are for two-dimensional pin-jointed structure. Same way we are going to see for rigid-jointed two-dimensional structure. Rigid-jointed two-dimensional structure. So let me consider a beam. Let me consider a fixed beam. So in the fixed end you have three reactions. Here again three reactions. So capital R is equal to 6. Small r is equal to 3. Okay. So r minus r is equal to 3. So it is statically indeterminate to degree 3. Let us consider this to be a beam. It has support at both the ends. Let us take this is pinned or fixed or roller. Same way the other. So this is one joint. This is the next joint. Okay. It has a beam. So it is an open structure. One dimensional structure. I can calculate what is the external indeterminacy alone. Whether it is determinate or indeterminate. Based upon the support condition. Okay, I can find only the external degree of indeterminacy, a pin jointed structure. So let me take these are the joints, these are the members. Okay, this is the support. So here it has reaction, it has reaction. If it is pinned, it has reaction. Okay, so I can find what is the external indeterminacy based upon these equations. I have R minus R equation. I can find based on these members, based on these joints and equilibrium equation, I can find what is the internal static indeterminacy and addition of external static indeterminacy and internal static indeterminacy will be the total indeterminacy for the given structure. Let me consider a two dimensional frame. So it has dimension along this direction and dimension along this direction. So here I can calculate what is external indeterminacy. I can calculate what is internal indeterminacy. Only for one dimensional structure I have r minus r equal to 0. If I am going to have dimensions along two axes then I need to determine what is external indeterminacy and internal indeterminacy. My external indeterminacy is based upon the support reactions I have totally 6 unknowns at the support, capital R is 6, available equilibrium equation is 3, R minus R is 3, so my external indeterminacy is 3. Internally, I can write equation as 3M minus 3J plus R, already we wrote M minus 2J plus R. So if it is the RCC structure, rigid jointed structure, my equation goes like this 3m minus 3j plus r. If it is equal to 0, it is determinate. If it is less than 0, then it is unstable. If it is greater than 0, it is indeterminate. Let us check out what is the degree of indeterminacy. m is the number of members. So first member, second member, third member okay 
totally three members. So three into three. Number of joints. I have a joint here. 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 Totally four. So three into four. Plus available equilibrium equation is three. Now check. 9 minus 12 plus 3 is equal to 0. So internally it is determinate, externally it is indeterminate to degree 3. So now I can write a statement. This structure is statically indeterminate externally to degree 3. Okay. So if I'm going to draw a member like this, again, so these reactions are less than the number of equilibrium equations. So directly I can write it is unstable. Okay. Even though I have a negative answer in external value and in some case if I am going to have a positive value in internal indeterminacy and the summation turns out to be 0, it is not a stable structure, it is an unstable structure because some structures may have externally or internally deficit configuration. If any one answer turns out to be a negative value, then the whole structure is unstable. So let me show you one more, some closed structure. So a framework with a closed loop. Let me take this as a loop or a closed end. So if I'm going to have a loop made of beam and column, this will form like a fixed support, it gives rigidity. So the number of forces which exist in this portion is the horizontal force, vertical force and a moment such that there are three unknowns in one closed loop internally. So to find the number of unknowns or indeterminacy internally, I can directly write for internal calculation, directly I can write three into number of closed loops will be the number of unknowns or the static indeterminacy of the structure internally. So internally if I am going to have any closed loop then I am going to write just 3 into number of closed loop. So here I have one closed loop 3 into 1. So 3 is my degree of static indeterminacy internally. Externally will be the same as you have done already capital R minus small r. So what is the value of capital R? Number of unknowns here and number of unknowns here are totally 6. I have 3 equilibrium equations. So R minus R is 3. So externally it is indeterminate to degree 3. So my total degree of indeterminacy is 6 external plus internal. We have calculated the degree of static indeterminacy for one dimensional structure. For two dimensional pin jointed structure, two dimensional digit jointed structure, okay. For three dimensional structure, I just I'll give the equation. Externally, it is R minus R only. For internally, if it is a three dimensional pin jointed structure, I can give the equation as M minus 3J plus R. For a three dimensional rigid jointed structure, externally, it is again R minus R. Internally, it is 6m minus 6j plus r. Okay, so I'll give the summation of all these. So, next important is if there is some internal pin, what will be the effect? Internal pin. So, let me draw a beam. Let me draw. Next we shall see what is the effect of internal pin in a structure. So let me form a frame. There is an internal pin somewhere here, the internal pin. Okay. How this affects static indeterminacy? It is an open structure. It is two dimensional structure. Okay. So to determine what is R minus R, that is the external indeterminacy, I should calculate what is the number of redundance at the support number of equilibrium equations so I have supports here totally 9 number of equilibrium equations available is 3 but this pin gives rise 
to an extra equilibrium equation. Okay. So, if there are two members connecting the pin, it gives rise to one equilibrium equation. So, what is that equilibrium equation? Sigma m is equal to 0. It releases the moment from the members joining that pin. If the number of members is m dash, m dash minus 1 will be the equilibrium e number of equilibrium equations for cost due to the pin. Here let us see m dash is equal to 2 that is the number of members joining the pin is 2. So number of equilibrium equation is m dash minus 1 that is 1. So the one equilibrium equation is sigma m equal to 0. If internal pin is between 3 members. So here 3 members. So m dash is equal to 3. M dash minus 1 is the number of equilibrium equations that exist out of this pin. So that will be 2. The two member equilibrium equations are sigma m equal to 0 between any two members. Sigma m equal to 0 between any other two members such that this pin is removed and it forms a simple beam. So this pin gives rise to two equilibrium equations. Check this. This pin has given rise to one equilibrium equation because there are two members joining the pin. Here there are three members joining the pin. It gave rise to two extra equilibrium equation. Okay. So if pin exists, my general equation will be revised as R minus R plus R dash. R minus R plus R dash. R dash is nothing but the equilibrium equations arose out of the pin. Now check for this problem. Capital R, we know it is 9. Okay. 9 minus small r was 3 plus r dash arose out of this pin is 1. So I have 9 minus 4 is 5. Number of static indeterminacy or the degree of static indeterminacy is 5. Check for this. I have R minus R plus R dash. Let us take the same problem. 9 minus, if there is a pin here instead of here, then I have 3 plus 2, then that turns out to be 4. Okay, so if the supports are fixed here, static indeterminacy degree turns out to be 4. So if this is an internal pin, this divides a member into two members. Two supports are here. Let us take an internal pin. This pin releases the moment between these two members and gives rise to one equilibrium equation. This internal pin is considered as a joint. Okay. This is one joint. This is a second joint. This is third joint. This is not a support. No reactions. But it is a joint. It splits the members into two. Okay. So again I will draw. Let me take a continuous beam. With an internal pin. Okay. So here I have R minus R. External indeterminacy. Capital R. Is formed only at the reactions. Is formed only at the support. So intermediate support will not have horizontal reaction because it will be taken care by the forces in the members. Totally capital R is 5. Small r, I know sigma h equal to 0, sigma v equal to 0 and sigma m equal to 0. So here internal pin exists between these two members. So m dash is equal to 2. Two members join this pin. So my equilibrium equation will be m dash minus 1 or the number of m dash minus 1. So it turns out to be 1. So my equation is r plus r dash. So my static indeterminacy is 1. Okay, open structure. We don't have any closed structure. So externally and internally separately, no need to find out. In case of a link formation, so here I have a structure, some link will be given 
again I can have a structure like this some link it can be like this or some di diagram can be given like this a link which releases the moment and the horizontal forces in this case if it is a link so differentiate pin and the link if it is a link it gives rise to two extra equilibrium equation sigma m equal to 0 and sigma h equal to 0 at the link okay sigma m equal to 0 and sigma h equal to 0 at the link apart from r equal to 3 already i have sigma m equal to 0 sigma v equal to 0 and sigma h is equal to 0 when there is a link it gives rise to two extra equilibrium equation such that i can make use of these five equilibrium equation to analyze the given structure okay same equation r minus r plus r dash so these are the equations for r dash these are the equations for r and find out what is the static indeterminacy for this given structure okay so this r dash is the additional equilibrium equations formed due to an internal pin or due to a link 